Welcome to A Mind for Life. We're here today with a new video. We're in the Endless Being series as we have been in the last few videos. Now, in the last video, I talked about state of being. And remember, I said a state of being has three elements. It has a feeling, an emotion, a thought, and a body state. A thought, feeling, body state is what's in a state of being. And we, I talked about the big eye or the broader perspective and how that comes in when you are in meditation. Or let me give you from my experience, when I was in meditation, I got the broader perspective, which allowed me to see these states of being, which I had never seen before. So I just wanted to recap that right quick. And you can go back and watch the video. But now in this video, I'm going to expand on it. We're still in the Endless Being series, and this is not a linear series. But let me say that these videos, these last few videos seem to be growing out of one another. And it's interesting. Now, we talked about state of being and how it's a thought, feeling, body state. So if I was in meditation and I thought about a situation that happened the day before, I may have a certain, I will have a certain emotion, which means I'm thinking a certain thing and there's a feeling in my body. I gave an example of a, maybe there was an argument that happened or disagreement. So I'm in meditation and this comes in and I'm rehearsing the argument. I feel the feelings and I feel tension in my body, anger, whatever the case may be. But if the, I stay in meditation, I stick with this, what happens is that that eventually leaves, okay, and another one comes in. So go back and watch the video. But that was a real huge inner discovery. I mean, it was huge for me. So now I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the power of your words. See, this is the way a lot of us operate. We want to be real. We want to be honest. So if there's a situation and we don't feel honest about that, let me just use myself as example. In the Before this discovery, if I was angry or happy or whatever the emotion was, that would dictate how I would interact with the situation. So if I was... It, but in spite of... The, a higher knowing of how I should react according to my higher evolved self. All right, and I'm going to unpack this. Let me give you an example. Say, say there's a, 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 fem, a girl in a relationship and another girl sees it. She's jealous of the girl that's in relationship because it's the holiday season and she has a relationship, but I don't. I'm just putting myself in, the, in this position. I don't have a relationship. So I'm angry at the girl who has a relationship. I'm jealous, even though I don't want to be jealous. I don't want to be jealous because I know that that's not good because it's good for people to be happy and prosper. And when someone's prospering and happy around me, at least it's around me. It's not like I'm in a salt land and not inhabited. And nobody's prospering and it's dried up. And no, somebody right here is prospering. Another example. A friend gets a new car. My car is good, but it's not as fresh as this one. So I'm jealous. Now, I know I'm jealous, but I shouldn't be jealous. I, it's not that it's wrong for me to be jealous, but I am jealous. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. I should be happy for this person. That's a state of being. That's a state of being. Now, that could have came during childhood. That could have came because of some ideas in the atmosphere. Maybe I used to be that way, but I've grown. But for the simple fact that I know I shouldn't be jealous means that there's a higher self involved here now. See, it would be quite different if I was just jealous and I didn't know that I could be different or that I internally know I shouldn't be this way. But this is what happens. We end up saying, well, I'm not going to compliment him on his new car because I'm really jealous. And if I compliment him on this new car, that wouldn't be real. I'm being fake because I'm really jealous. So if I go up to him and say, hey, that's a really nice car. I'm being fake. I'm not being real because the truth is I'm jealous. So you know what? I'm going to be real. I'm keeping it real. I'm going to be who I am. 
etc. Now, I'm going to say that this in this video, that's not the right approach. And it's not because the jealousy is wrong or invalid. It's because through your experience in time, in evolution, in your knowledge, in your self-knowledge, in your revelation, in your emotional development, you've come to a new conclusion about yourself and about the world. For example, you've come into this idea that it's good for people to prosper around you. It's a good thing. But you still feel jealous. But you know that it's a good thing because it's even around you now. So, speak it anyway. Speak it anyway. Speak the, the good thing anyway. Speak the higher thing in spite of how you may feel. Because how you feel is due to a state of being. It's a thought, a feeling, and a body state. There's a body state associated with that feeling of jealousy, for example. It could be any feeling that you have uh, outgrown, so to speak. In other words, you have a higher idea of it. And there's a body state that goes with that. Oftentimes, the body state doesn't manifest right away. We're not so in tune with that as we are the emotions or the thoughts. So we're, the body state may show up later as an illness or, or uh, uh, some sort of kink in our health. So this idea that I don't really feel that way, so I'm not going to say that, doesn't reflect your higher self. It doesn't reflect where you want to go. See, when you are actually speaking these things, you're creating life. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. We've heard this. But the words you are speaking have power. The words that you're speaking are creating a new reality for yourself. And you don't have to feel what you are saying. You don't have to feel what you're saying. See, there's a movement that in the so-called New Age that says, okay, you have to feel it. You have to have the, a joyful expectation of it. When you put your feelings to what you're saying, it manifests in this and that. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to debunk that. But what I am here to say is you have to speak from an executive place from your higher self. And that may or may not include your feelings. You cannot be led by your emotions, especially when they don't reflect who you really are. When they reflect a a, a less evolved state of being. For example, you you used to be jealous when you when your friends got stuff when you were a little kid, but you outgrew that. You realize it's a good thing for other people to prosper. It's good for them and it's good for me. This illusion of separation sort of gets starts to you know get thinner. So you realize that yeah, if if they're prospering and they're around me, it's good for me too. So let me compliment them because that's complimenting myself. And it's complimenting them too. So you come to this. But your feelings will say, will still be in the same place because there's thoughts happening and a body state, the state of being is still there. So when you speak, hey, I like your car, it's a great car. You may not feel that. So according to that so-called new age thinking, you're not really doing anything. It's not going to manifest. It's not going to have power because you don't feel it. See, that's putting the emotions in the, the wrong place. You don't have to feel this to speak it. The life and death is not in your emotions. It's in the power of your words. So as you speak it, regardless of how you feel, and let's take a, a very personal example. Say, for example, like you are, you want to feel good today. But there are situations where you could not feel good and you don't feel good because you have thoughts, feelings and body states about what's happening in the world that don't reflect the truth of what you know, that you're going to be OK, that you're blessed, etc. But you still feel this way and you felt this way about these certain things all growing up. And you feel that way now, but you have a new idea of it. So instead of saying, hey, look, 
this is the way I feel and this is the truth and this is, is going to stay this way. What I'm saying to you is it doesn't matter how you feel. Not that your feelings are invalid because your feelings are actually showing you what you're thinking. So they have a role. They're actually showing you and revealing the state of being. They're revealing the current state of being that you have. But the current state of being that you have may not be where you really are today. It may have been where you were. So these situations that come up that could make you upset, that could make you feel bad about everything so your day is kind of dark now. But there's a higher you that knows, wait a minute, this is just how I'm seeing this. Can I see this a different way? Can I see that this is an opportunity for growth? Say you uh, in your company, you had to let someone go because they weren't doing what they said they were going to do. Of course, that's not going to make you feel good. But maybe there's a, 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 a door that's opening because of this. Maybe this is a, a relief for you, even financially. Maybe there's someone else that's going to come in and help you in your company beyond what you could imagine with this current the person that you had. But because you have to let them go, you feel bad all day. It's okay. But at the same time, understand that you don't ha- you can control this. You can have dominion over the earth by using the power of your words. The power of your words come from a higher self, a higher you, a more evolved you, a you that has come through awareness in time. This has has had light experiences that you can see deeper into things now. You understand things better. You understand that this is just the way you're seeing this. This is why you feel defeated. But this same thing that's in the world, it's like a blank slate. You can choose how you see it. So even though you feel defeated, even though you may feel like just giving up, Speak life anyway from your higher self. I don't mean brain, but your higher self. Speak it anyway, regardless of how you feel. Stop keeping it real. Stop speaking your mind if the mind that you're speaking out of does not represent your higher self. So I wanted to bring that out today because there's so much talk about When you say things that you want to manifest, you want to manifest a great day, you want to manifest whatever you want to manifest, that you have to feel it for it to work. And I'm here to tell you that's not true. That's not true. It's good to get into your imagination and and feel what it's going to be like to have it as if you have it right now. I agree. But what if you can't do that? What if this state of being, like I said in the last video, is so powerful, it just won't leave. You just can't stop being jealous, even though you know you don't want to be jealous or angry or any emotion that doesn't represent what you really want to feel. Because those emotions are beautiful things, because even though you may consider that negative, because they're showing you what you're thinking. And then you can go through that and say, hmm. Wow, this came from my childhood. This is how everybody reacted. But I don't have to react like that today. I don't have to be a part of that energy today, that life in style today. I can choose something different. And I choose it from what I speak. I don't wait for my emotions to catch up with my higher knowing now. Because that state of being, like I said in the last video, some of them are pretty strong they just won't go away so easy some go and some come and then some your your mind just keeps on that same subject on that same thing and now you have these emotions it's almost like you're living it in the present but it's just a state of being so i wanted to give you that today in this endless being series it's the power of your words not that emotions are not valid because they are Not because of what you feel isn't valid, because it is. But there's a higher you, isn't there? There's a higher you that knows a more prosperous way. Speak from that place. In spite of the mind or thoughts, in spite of what you may feel, speak from there. Speak from there and just go on. Know that your words have power to transform. There's been, you know, scientific tests about this as well, but that's not a part of this video. The power of your words on physical matter. So I thank you for coming to A Mindful Life.
and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.